Hello and welcome to Morningstar. I'm Emma Wall and I'm joined today by Richard Pease to give his three stock picks. Richard is the manager of the Crux European Special Situations Fund. Hi Richard. So what's the first stock you'd like to highlight today? Well, I'm going to continue to push around town. Um, it did terribly well last year. We made over 50% on our, on our investment. I still think it looks very, very good news. Around town is a German property company run by a guy called Yaki Agabe. And the first point I'd like to make is this guy's got two and a half billion euros worth of stock and he hasn't sold a share. The market cap is six billion. And the story is simply that he's able to buy commercial property in Germany on about a 7% yield, work it, get to a 9% yield, and fund it at below 2% yield, and you play, the, you play the, the gap. And the stock is not expensive despite having done very well. Uh, we think it's going to yield about 4% in dividend terms, and it's growing at about 15% a year because he's still being able to buy things, and actually the rental growth is very strong. So we think we've got 15% growth a year in both NAV, oh, sorry, this is the asset value, and in the dividend, and that's pretty good news, um, particularly with the guys committed as that. So that would be my first um, push. And, and commercial property is often quite linked to the, the economic growth, and presumably the fact that economic growth is returning to Europe is quite a good thing for the asset class. I think it's just a bonus. I mean, he's always bought below replacement cost. Um, he's in the right parts of Germany. Um, it's the, the, the stock price is, is more than asset backed already, um, and if we get good economic growth, that's great. But it's good even if we don't. And what's the second stock today? Well, I think I'd probably pick a stock which hasn't done particularly well. Um, it's called a, a company called ISS. It's an outsourcing story. You guys have probably have heard of it anyway. Um, it's about a five and a half billion market cap, five billion market cap euros, and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Danish stock. Um, and I think the market got slightly spooked because they had a couple of quarters which slightly disappointed in terms of margin. One or two of the bigger contracts that they do things like catering and um, cleaning offices and that kind of stuff had fallen away and that puts a bit of margin pressure on it. I think before one gets too panicky, I think you want to realise that this company has shown top line growth for 20 years, um, every year. Um, it grows at anything between about half percent and six percent, but that's a very nice um, position to be in. And there is some genuine good, strong, structural tailwind, which will, will continue. Um, and it's got great, um, I think, great characteristics. It's got, to get slightly technical, negative working capital, which means you can grow forever, basically, without having to fund it. Um, you've got very high returns on its capital. It's got very little capital tied up. It's been through private equity, like a lot of very good businesses, very leveraged. It's now very deleveraged, and so it's got lots of M&A potential. Um, and it's on about 13 and a half times slightly depressed margins. Um, yielding about three and three quarters in dividend terms. And that's for this year. And we, we think, I, I saw the CEO actually last week again, and he was very confident actually. So I, I would have to, I'd have to mention that one. Now, outsourcing in the UK is a bit of a dirty word at the moment because there have exactly. been several companies which have come a cropper in recent months. But you, it sounds like the fundamentals for this company mean that they will not be affected we by did, sort of things. We did are... talk about things like Mighty, and, and actually there's a big difference. I mean, Mighty is very UK only um, and actually ended up having far too much government work and actually it was, wasn't well run, I'm afraid. Um, I, mean, I, I think there's a big difference. And I think that's one of the reasons why the stock price has come back, because people are concerned about some of the obvious examples which have been bad news. And what's the third and final stock? I think I'd probably go for one I saw again this morning, actually, called Cremo, which is Finnish. Um, Cremo does two things. It does modular buildings and it, do, it, it, it does rental equipment for construction. It's a bit more cyclical, clearly. Modular buildings, less so. It's a small company. It's under a billion market cap in euros. Um, and again, the valuation is not at all demanding. It's on about 10 times earnings, and it yields just under 5%. So um, n not extravagantly valued. And we very much like the relatively new CEO who's now been around for a couple of years. And I think <clears throat> we like it because I think the market's getting too concerned about um, there's obviously a bit of a bubble in Stockholm upmarket um, residential prices, and that's a very small part of the overall pie for them, but I think they're being overly punished for that. I think it's about 5 or 6% of their exposure, essentially. It's not enormous. And we think there's all sorts of things they can actually do. And certainly, from the meeting this morning, I think they're very comfortable with the, with the overall picture, and um, we think that the market's being a bit too tough on it. And it's a small company. As I said, it's not a big position, but it's just a good example of an, <coughs> an inexpensive um, decent business run by good management. Richard, thank you very much. Thank you. This is Emma Wall for Morningstar. Thank you for watching.